Hey guys, today we're going to look at the art of bribery. It's the second part of the three-part extravaganza on how to win band competitions. But when looking at bribery, we're not going for the obvious. We're not going to try to bribe the judges. They're expecting it anyway. And look, if you follow the instructions from last week's episode on wheedling, they're already your friends anyway, or think they are, so it's unnecessary. But if we're not going to go for the judges, who are we going to go for? The sound engineer. No one suspects the sound engineer, no one cares about the sound engineer, no one ever notices they exist. When I say ever, I mean ever. They don't even know they're at the gig half of the time. They're a huge, undervalued resource just waiting to be exploited. Pay whatever you can to get that cat on your side. The objective, of course, to make you sounding sweet and crystal clear, and all the other bands sound like mud. Irritating mud. When you've done that, you've got the audience on your side as well. So part one, we dealt with getting the judges on side. Now the audience is on your side. It's pretty good looking. Uh, the other advantage of going for the sound engineer is they're cheap as chips. You try to bribe a judge, it's going to cost you a lot of coin. But those sound guys, a couple bucks will probably sway them. Anyway, next episode we're going to deal with the important skills of sabotage. And that will round up all the skills you need to make sure that you can win that band competition. Alright, tune in next time. Catch you later. Wow.